Hey, what's up people? This is Steven with another Pixel for Life video tutorial. So in our last video, if you have not seen it, it is right over here, POW. Uh, we designed these social media icons. They are gorgeous. Um, now it's time to program it because looking at them is one thing, but being able to actually click it is another and quite a lot of fun. So we are going to start off with a blank canvas right here and we're just going to throw in some quick code. Um, in Coda, I have a uh, clips that I can just double click and it's going to give me basic HTML stuff right here. Um, I'm just going to keep it basic because I'm just worried about programming these buttons. You'll have to throw it into your own website. So to start off, I'm just going to give it a quick title. We'll call it like uh, PFL Social Icons and then we'll space that out a little bit. And again, just to make things easier for you to see, I'm just going to um, do the styles right here in the header. You'll want to put that into your own .css file or whatever. Alright, so let's let's program the basic HTML code for this. So if I save this, I can slap this open in Coda. Let's see. Oh, we don't even have an HTML file saved yet. Um, let me copy that. We'll do index.html. I'm just right click and go to new file. I'm just going to paste that in there. Okay, now if I save that, I have my file right here. And I'm just going to drag and drop that into uh, Chrome. Alright, so as you can see, blank as expected, except for our title, which is uh, it's a very nice title. So let's just begin coding the HTML and we're going to be using an unordered list because I want these to uh, be kind of like bullet points but without bullet points so ul and that's unordered list and we're given an ID of social icons and the reason we're giving this an ID is so we can cat or um, select this whole box so if you want to have this box in your header or sidebar you can select the entire box um, rather than the individual buttons which you'll be able to do, but it's easier to grab the whole shoe box rather than individual shoes. So inside of ULs, you want LIs, which are list items. So we're going to do LI, and in order to make this a link, we're going, going to need an anchor. So inside of this LI, let me just space this out easier for you to see, we're going to do an anchor point. So A and we're going to do href equals and this is href is um, it means that it's going to be clickable to a link so the first one will just have I don't know uh, I can't type and we're going to make it um, youtube.com forward slash pfl tuts good enough and we're going to give it an ID of social button and they're all going to have the same ID, so they'll have the same CSS attributes. And because most of these are going to have the same background image, same size, all that. So we're going to use that by having a similar ID. Then we're going to throw in a class, so this one will be unique for each button. That way we can change the background position <clears throat> so the image shows up differently. As you can see with this icon image I'm using, all the icons are in one image. We're just going to. Um, tell it how much of the image to show and what portion of the image to show. That way it's all individual. A little confusing but it'll make sense. So the first class is going to be button underscore YT stands for YouTube and we'll just close that off and that's all there is to it. Let's, uh, let's clean this up a little bit. Make it nice and neat. Alright, so that's the first button. We're going to do three of them. I'm going to copy and paste that, copy and paste, and the second one is going to be button underscore um, twit, and then the third one is going to be button underscore plus, and that's going to be YouTube, Twitter, and Google Plus. Let's indent this so it looks fancy, and that is all of the um, HTML that we have to do. The href, I'm just going to leave, I guess we can 
I guess we could change this if we want. Um, we'll put our own Twitter in there. So www.twitter.com forward slash pound exclamation forward slash pixel for life. And then for Google, this one's a little more complicated, so I'll just go google.com. All right. So now that we have the HTML, if I save this and refresh this, you'll see we have three bullet points. And that is one for each button. Now we have to do the styles to make those bullet points into something nice. So we're going to start off with um, UL uh, ID social icons. So that's targeting this UL right here. So in this, we're going to just give it a width of like three or 230 pixels. This is this one really doesn't matter for my case because this is the only element on the page. If you want to um, put this onto your own website, you might have this the size of your sidebar or whatever. You'll you'll know what to do. Then height, I'm gonna do auto. That's not really needed, but I just put it in there anyways. Auto is a given. Um, and then margin. We'll just do, I don't know, 15 pixels and then 000. zero, zero. Again, I don't really need to specify that, but I'll throw that in anyways. And now, uh, if we save that, let me just refresh and show you what that does. Nothing. Okay? So, well, let me right click and go to inspect elements. And let's see. That didn't really work. Um, because you got to refresh. So now if I go to here, you can see that there's a light colored box that shows the 230 pixels width and the height is automatic and then the margin blah blah blah. All right, so now I'm going to get rid of those bullet points because they're kind of ugly and we don't need them because we we have our own images. So I'm going to do UL social icons and this time LI for the list items. And in this, all we're going to do is list style is none. So now if I refresh this, completely invisible. Wonderful. Okie dokie. So now we are going to uh, specify this ID social buttons. And this is going to be all the elements that are exactly the same on all the buttons. So for our case, let's do pound social button. And in our case, we are going to have the same width of 38 pixels. And I got that height from the height of this button right here. And then the width is going to be the same thing because it's a circle. So height 38 pixels. Or that's width. Whoa. And then height 38 pixels. Same thing. 38 by 38. And now I'm going to say float left. So then all the buttons are laying horizontal. And then um, let's give it some margin. Zero and then 15 pixels, zero, zero. So what that means is zero pixels on the top, 15 on the right, zero on the bottom, zero on the left. And that's so the buttons aren't touching each other on the edges. They're gonna be a little bit of space on the right side. And now for the last thing for this, we're going to do uh, background. So we're gonna do background image and then URL and we're going to go to this image. So to keep things a little bit clean, I'm going to create a new folder called images and we will throw that image right into that folder. Good. So URL and then we're going to go side bracket um, and we'll do images which is that folder and then the name of this file. So pfl underscore social dash icons dot png. Close that off. and save that and you'll see what we got right here. So now we have three of the same images. Now we just need to modify the background position so the images are different. Okay? So again, inside the styles, we are going to specify the classes. And for the class, we're gonna, let's just add all the classes. Button underscore YT and then button underscore um, it and then button underscore plus all right so for the first one uh, we're going to do background position zero 
and 376 pixels. Now I came up with this number already because I did some testing and it's just it's going to look the same way. Um, let me do the second one. Uh, we want Twitter. So the way I found this out is I right click and I go to inspect element. And then, oops, let me quickly add a class of background and I'm just going to do zero, 00 pixels. Alright, so I refresh this and now I can come over to, I'll right click, inspect element and then come over here to background position and I seriously just drag through here until it gets to the uh, to the right image that I want. Now you need to be careful that you don't select your hover the hover state for it. I have normal and then hover state as well. So I just keep doing that until I get to um, what is this one? Twitter? To the number that I need. So what is this? 208. That's perfect. So I just go 208 and I change this to 208. Save that. Refresh and you can see boom it's perfect. So I already have the number for Google Plus so background position, zero, and then 38 pixels. So now if I refresh that, you can see it's perfect. All right. So now you can end with this, or I made it fancy and I have a hover state. So to do the hover state, we're going to do pretty much the exact same thing as this. So I'm going to copy this, come over here, paste it, but we're going to add colon hover. So I'm going to copy that. Come here, paste, paste, and let's clean that up so it's nice. And now we just have to change the background positions again. Not very fun. So we're going to do the first one is 0, and then the second one is 292. And again, the way I did that is with the inspect element. And then the third one is 123. Save it refresh and you can see when I hover over it there's a slight hover state nothing too fancy but that's all there is to it um, it's a lot not a lot of guesswork but it takes some time going to right click and then go into this background position and finding the correct state um, that's going to finish off this tutorial if you have any tutorial requests or questions about this or any problems be sure to leave a comment or send me a PM and if you learned something, please click subscribe because I love new subscribers. Uh, thanks for watching and see you next time.